Welcome, Wolf of Wolfettes! We are back with the Playroom on the PlayStation VR. Now, um, I was about to record a little bit of Gravity Rush 2, but I was looking on the uh, PSN Profiles website, checking out some of my Platinum trophies, and I noticed that there has been a brand new DLC pack added for free to Playroom VR. Now, I had no idea that this was added. I didn't see any news about it or anything. But yeah, there is a new mode added to the Playroom VR for free. So if any of you guys want to play it, go on the store. It should be free. But yeah, it's up here. So today, I thought what we would do is we would check this out. Now, um, what you pretty much have to do in this mode, you are going to play as the dude with the Gatling gun. And you have to fight off hundreds and hundreds of these little robotic bastards. They look like little Tetris pieces. It sort of feels a little bit like, I don't know, it feels a little bit like that old fashioned game, Space Invaders, you know, when you play as a little ship and you have all those little spaceships attacking you and stuff. It feels a little bit like that, but in VR and 3D. I'll tell you, this, it is bloody fun. This is my favorite mode. So if any of you guys got Playroom VR, make sure you go and check it out. It's brilliant. You can see what's going on right now just by looking at this little uh, video playing. <laughs> I'm not sure what it's called. What's it called? Toy Wars. There we go. Now, um, you can play this as either one player or four players. And I think the other players control little superhero bots. But whoever has the VR headset on will control the Gatling gun. So if you've got any friends around with you, they can control the superheroes. I've not played it co-op or anything yet, I've only played on my own. My sister ain't here, otherwise I would have played co-op. But yeah, I'm going to uh, quickly sort out my control because my uh, my DualShock 4 is looking a little bit wonky in game. Right, there we go. Now let's, uh, let's give this a play. Right, everything's set up. Am I all synced up? Lovely. There's a couple of enemies in this that look like, um, that look like creepers. Hey, alert. Alien toys are invading our bedroom. Use your gun turret to blast them back to outer space. <laughs> okay then. Oh, I'll tell you, this is great fun. Aboard your giant ro Aboard your giant robot, help the gunner by repelling enemy waves. Remember, no punching at your teammates. Yeah, so the people that control the giant robots are the co-op players. And then they can pretty much use those robots to like beat the shit out of all of the uh, aliens. Whereas you will be controlling the Gatling gun. Alright then, I get it. Let's do this. Sorry if I'm talking too much. Yeah, we don't need to know that bit. Okay. So I'm going to be doing this on my own. I'm not quite sure how hectic this is going to get. I gave it a little bit of a play a minute ago. And uh, yeah, a lot of bloody aliens started appearing. You alright mate? How you doing little playbot? <laughs> oh, I do love the playroom though. Here we go. So this right here is going to be my Gatling gun right here. We've got our commander over there. And these robots next to me, they are going to board the giant robots. It's pretty much a little bit like Pacific Rim, ain't it? Yeah, they're all going to go and get in their massive robots. Very much like Pacific Rim. I'm actually glad they added a new mode to this game because my Playroom videos actually got me a lot of views. I think I got about a thousand or two views. And that is a bloody lot for me. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching that playthrough, uh, Wolf and Wolfettes. Hopefully you enjoy this video too, if people watch this one as well. Right. Now you're going to place your DualShock 4 inside the Gatling gun. And you control the Gatling gun by moving your hands around. So, uh, yeah, get ready for it. Your uh, Gatling gun does take a while to charge up firing. So, um, make sure you keep your finger on the trigger. Because if you let go, then your uh, gun's going to take a while to get back up to full shooting speed. See, you just control it like this. Hopefully I don't smack my mic. Because every VR game I've recorded so far, I've knocked the mic out of. Here we go. Oh shit. Some of them do take a few hits to kill. I think, I don't even know, there might be boss monsters as well. I've not finished this so far, I only really did a little bit. And then I got owned by some sort of flying monster. You see what I mean though, it looks, uh, there we go, those things, one of them flew over and hit me in the head. <laughs> I think this would be a lot better in co-op, you only get one health, so if you get touched, as far as I know, you're dead. There's a bloody lot of them in there. 
Oh, look at that. What's that? Look at the size of that thing. Oh. Oh, <laughs> God, it's flipping hell. Oh. Oh, it's a bit jump scary, isn't it? I don't know if, if maybe shooting their heads is like a weak spot or something. Oh my god! Oh, what was that? Was that some sort of bomb? I don't know what that was, but it wrecked everybody. Didn't those things look like creepers? Oh! Oh, maybe they... Oh no, I just saw some sort of bomb. Is there bombs in this level that I'm missing? I'm losing concentration now because of all the explosions. Oh shit. Oh sh I'm gonna get wrecked. Ah! Oh! Okay, there's like suicidal uh, <laughs> robots running at us. How'd you like that, mate? <laughs> oh, I don't know how long this goes on for. I don't know if this is like an endless mode and you just keep fighting until you die, but. Now they're teleporting at me like sons of bitches. We're going to have to keep an eye out for those big yellow ones because they flip in. Oh. Oh, look. It's like, oh. I think there's a trophy for killing five people with one explosion. So if you want to try and get yourself a bronze trophy, just gather up a few enemies and then blow them all up. It's going to be pretty risky doing that, though. You're probably going to end up dead. I don't like these big white ones. They're hard to kill. Oh, what's that? Oh, what was that? You see that? Oh! Oh, look at this! Oh, look at that! <laughs> it's brilliant! It's reminding me a little bit like the uh, guns in um, that stupid game, Orc Slayer. I'll tell you what, Morbex. When that game came out, I was pretty excited for it, you know? I don't mind a good, like, fighting game with, like, crappy story and just, you know, straight-up action. But that was a terrible game. Very glitchy. Very ugly as well. But this sort of reminds me of the Gatling gun you get in that. Because I kept getting a glitch in Orc Slayer where, um, where my uh, Gatling gun would have infinity lightning bolts and I would just wreck everyone. Uh-oh. Oh, I didn't know there was bosses. Is the other enemy still coming? Yep. Oh, shit, he's bringing friends. Sorry if I'm getting a little bit loud. I'm getting a little bit overexcited, you know. I do love a good VR game, you know, and I do love a bit of playroom. <laughs> so I get a little bit excited. And also, I'm used to talking loud because I wear the wolf mask, you know. I have to talk loud in the wolf mask. So when I do VR games, I always feel like I'm a little bit loud. Because I'm used to talking loud, you know. I don't get the luxury of just whispering when I record. <laughs> How much health does it... Oh! Shit, don't go that to, don't go that far, I might smack the mic. How many blocks do I need to get rid of? Has he got like a heart or something in the middle of him? Oh shit, they, I think they might have gained speed. I need, I need a buff or something. I need one of those. Oh, Jesus. It's getting a little bit hard for a VR game, isn't it? I suppose this would be a lot easier if you had, like, friends playing with you. Because you could have, like, the superheroes could concentrate on punching these dudes at the bottom whilst I shoot the UFO. Yes! I think my my uh, my uh, my Gatling gun's gone a little bit out of sync. Oh, look at that! Is that how many? Bloody hell! That was a lot of men. Is that how many people I killed, or how many I block? How many blocks I smashed? Probably how many people I killed. I don't know, I don't think we killed 568, it's probably blocks, ain't it? 
Let's uh, see how long I've been recording. If I've been recording for a little while, then I'll do another round, maybe. Right, we're going to give it another play because I've still got a little bit of time. I don't want this video to be too short. And also, I need to resync my uh, Gatling gun before we do it again. Oh, what's up, guys? Yeah! <laughs> oh, look, it's the dog. So where was all of... Oh, look, I've got a confetti shooter. I didn't even notice. Oh, I'm... what a missed opportunity. Yeah! You can see my room now. You can see all the crap around me. You can see my Pringles tin. Ha! <laughs> In the bin. Oh, I've got so many coins. Uh, I haven't showed you guys the toy, the toy room yet. I might make another video of this eventually. It's only going to be a very short video, but it will show off when you get coins in this game. I did mention it when I did the playroom last time, but I'll mention it again for anybody that's new. Um, when you get coins, you go into your into the playroom, in the, your little toy room, and you use the coins on this little grabby machine, and you have to grab up all these little prize balls, and then you collect a load of toys to fill up your room. I think I've completed it, I've got all of the toys, so uh, I'll show off my room next time. Right, I'm going to resync my controller, and we're going to try it again. Because I want to, uh, I want to try that, um... I want to try and use that confetti shooter again. Those are some very shiny robots. I mean, uh, this is a free game, you know. Like, this is free. If you buy um, Playroom VR, if you, I mean, if you buy PlayStation VR or PS4, you'll get Playroom for PS4, and you'll get Playroom VR for free with the PSVR. And this is probably my favourite game. Like, I would have easily paid for this, <laughs> you know. I mean, this is a better, this is a better uh, example of VR than like PlayStation VR World. PlayStation VR World was all right, but most of the experiences in that weren't that good. You know, I, the only ones I really enjoyed was London Heist. You know, VR Luge was all right, but it lunged, but it was very, it was very uh, puke-inducing. But there is a couple of VR games, like, I, I do want to play more VR games on this channel. The main problem is, is setting the stuff up takes forever. And I also, uh, now that I've got a, a capable capture card, I can uh, render in 60 FPS. So uh, that means the render times are now going to be a lot higher. So, recording VR games, although it's fun, it's uh, a, bit of, a bit of work, a bit of hassle, you know. But I do get more views on these VR games, so I will start doing more. If any of you guys have got any VR games you want me to play, let me know. There are a few I've got planned, but at the moment I'm just trying to finish off some promised playthroughs. Ha! Ah! Because <laughs> I've still got to do... Uh... Oh! What the... Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no, my gun's broken if you didn't know that. Oh no! I'm sorry! I wasn't paying attention, I was talking about VR games. Oh shit. I'm gonna get anal probe. Oh, at least I got a coin. <laughs> okay, well, that's pretty much it, Wolf Morphets. I, um. I saw this on the uh, store, I saw it on PSM Profile's website, and I thought. You know what? I'll give it a play. I don't know if anyone else has recorded this, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to do it anyway. So yeah, thanks for watching, Wolf Wolf. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Like I said, though, make sure you play this with your friends. It'll be a lot easier. But yeah, like, share, and join the pack today. Oh!